Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is April Sargent. Um, I have been uh, watching uh, beauty videos on YouTube for a couple years now and um, I just thought, you know, I really want to be a part of that. It just is, well, very helpful, <clears throat> excuse me for one, just fun to watch. Everyone is so positive and um, I just felt like it would be a great thing to do. I uh, decided to, as everyone is, you know, doing their um, 2013 favorites, I thought, well, what the heck? I'm going to go for it and I'm going to make one. I think it's going to be fun to me, so hopefully people will have fun watching it. I'm just going to go for it. So here I go. <laughs> My first thing I'm going to talk about is foundation. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo. Um, I am in L46, which you can see how light I am, and I am a pink undertone. This one is really great. I do have dry skin. It, it's medium coverage, I would say. I mean, you can build it, but I would say, you know, if you're just putting it on initially, it's going to be a medium coverage. Um, it is, it does say matte finish on here. I would not necessarily say it's a matte, matte finish uh, but it is on the matte spectrum matte side of foundation so if you do have dry skin you do need to be aware of that and you do make sure that you're moisturizing and you may need to use a little bit extra moisture if you're going to use you know something like this that's going to be like a matte or a semi matte love this it stays with me during the day I do uh, have a full-time job I work in an office so I like to you know look fresh, I have my makeup looking good in the morning, and I want it to look good when I go home at 5 or 6 o'clock. For concealer, CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless um, Eye Concealer, I'm in uh, 205. It's this kind that's the swirl, I mean you can see, but it's like the concealer and then like the moisture in there, um, which that's one of the reasons I really love it, is because it's moisturizing under the eye. I would probably say it's a it's a medium coverage. It's easy to work with, creamy, moisturizing. It It is the concealer that creases the least on me that I have tried, and I have tried many. For eyeshadow primer, pretty much this year what I went through was this, you know, the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer, you know, has the doe foot applicator. Um, I feel like this does a really good job. It, um, doesn't crease. I went back and forth throughout this year using the uh, Lorac behind the scenes and then this one. And this one obviously is in my 2013 favorites. It won out over Lorac. Clinique Quick Liners, uh, Quick Liner Intense, I should say. Yeah, Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. These are really awesome. It is going to stay on your eyes all day. I can't say enough about these. Go get you some. Now, that being said, it is easy to wash off, uh, you know, with your eye makeup remover. It's not like I'm, you know, you know, scrubbing, scrubbing. No, I can't say enough about these. Go get one. Lorac Pro Palette. Absolutely love this palette. Have traveled with it. I can't say enough. I'm wearing it today. You can do so much with it. I have no complaints about it. I love a single eyeshadow that I loved this year. A Sephora collection actually. Uh, it's Outrageous Pr Prisma Chrome. Outrageous Metallic Taupe. This is one of these great colors that it goes on very deep and obviously taupey. It is very taupe. You know it's taupe. And then but you could do a one shadow look with this because you can just put it on your lid and then you know just just use your little blending brush and smudge it up and it just blends out so nicely it goes like to a nice soft brown it it does have shimmer in it but it's not and I know at least the way I'm looking at it here it does have you know look very satiny and it and it is but it's it's just a great all-around color like if I just had to I could only have one eyeshadow one I would take this because I feel like you can get a lot done with this shadow. If you see it, this is worth the seven bucks. I'm telling you. Good, good stuff. For my liquid liner, uh, my Kat Von D, uh, this is the Saint Liner and Trooper. Uh, this is so easy to work with. You know, it has a great tip. Um, the only thing I would suggest is maybe when you store it, you know, store it with the you know, so that the fluid goes down into the tip or maybe like sideways so that the ink will still be getting to the tip because, um, I mean, 
I've had this for several, for a few months now, but I just feel like it's maybe the product's not getting to the tip as much as I want. Maybe it's just because I'm using it up. Um, but love this. It stays all day. Um, obviously, I have a thing about things staying on my face all day because, you know, you can't be working and constantly be taking bathroom breaks or sitting at your desk fixing your makeup. So I need for it to stay on my face. So this one will. Mascara, I don't have a tube of it, but my favorite mascara for this year was the uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Um, I felt, you know, you could build it up and give yourself some good, you know, lashes, but it really, it didn't clump. I mean, you know, I'd put on about three coats, but it gave me, you know, some length, some volume, just an overall, all around great mascara. And I mean, for the price, come on. I mean, what I have on today is the, um, it's the Lancome Hypnos Drama, which I like the way it makes my lashes look. But it flakes. It's going to be, look, in three hours, I will have some serious fallout all right here. And y'all see how light I am. So when some black mascara is on this whiteness, it's very noticeable. And with the Clump Crusher, I didn't have that. Becca Mineral Blushes. And my favorite one is Flower Child. I love this blush. I love it so much that I bought four of their other blushes. Um, because this one is just so wonderful. In fact, I didn't um, buy NARS Orgasm because I had this one. Um, this is a peachy pink with a golden highlight. I'll swatch it, but I know y'all aren't going to be able to see it. I know you can't see that very well. I'll try to do a better swatch. I can go. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I love it. You can make it. If you put it like, well, that's what I'm wearing today, but you can do it on your cheeks and just give like a light, healthy, glowy um, flush to the face. Or you can, you know, use your brush more concentrated and really make it deeper. And so that's what I really like about this. Um, I just love it. I think people are, you know, it's it again, it's another one of these products that stays on my face all day. I love that. And, um, I would recommend this. I think they're wonderful. Do it, girl. At least go try it at Sephora and see what you think. Contour. I use the, um, it's the Milani um, Multitasker Face Powder in 05 Tan. For me, because I'm so fair, just about everything is too dark if I want to do a contour. So, for me, this is good. I mean, you see, you know, the difference there. And I am wearing some today. And it does give me some contour without making me look muddy. This is a matte powder. That's what I use it for. I love it. Um, it's easy to blend. It stays with you. Yeah, if you're a lighter skin person, check out the Milani powders. For my luminizer, a balm. Of course, I just have this little teeny one. But uh, it's the Mary Luminizer. It is so pigmented. And you could use it as, you know, an eyeshadow. I don't know if y'all can see that there. But... You know, it is multi, multi-purpose, and it, it's a great product. I will just use it, you know, sometimes for my highlight there, just to give me that natural glow, or make me look like I'm glowy, even though I'm not. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments at work whenever I wear this. They're like, oh, you're so glowy, and you look so fresh, and whatever. And I'm like, hee hee, right here. It's fake. Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This is a do, girl. Go get you some. You will be very happy with this. So, um, yeah, these are great. They stay with you. This is what I'm wearing today. I actually put some of the uh, Too Faced Lip Injection over the top of it, but it's the this pink color, Fiore. These stay with you. Um, you can put them on in the morning. You know, they're going to stay. So I'm very happy with these. So, yeah, get one, try it out, see what you think. It's good stuff. It's going to stay with you. So, yeah, recommend. Okay. Favorite setting powder, my NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Translucent Crystal. Of course, this is the pressed version. They do have a loose version as well. Um, I just think it makes the skin have a real nice finish. I don't know if y'all can see that. The um, It does look a little bit white, but it's like when you put it on your skin, it just kind of blends into nothingness. Just a nice, um, just gives the skin a nice... I guess airbrush kind of 
um, well luminous and just a really nice soft finish over your makeup. So yeah, so this was my favorite setting powder. Uh, my favorite powder foundation, which because my skin is so dry, I don't really use this as a powder foundation. I will just kind of take it with me like if I know maybe I'm going straight from work to dinner or, you know, something like that. And I need to maybe do some touch up. But it's the uh, Kat Von D Lock It uh, Powder Foundation. And uh, my color is Light 46, just like with the um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation, I'm Light 46. Same thing in the powder. So that's nice. And it does have a nice mirror and nice you know has a little sponge there so you don't necessarily have to take a brush you know with you you can just kind of use the sponge um so yeah really like that brow product um when my hair is more red i use this one it's the um nyx uh eyebrow cake powder and you know it's just one of these dual powders mine obviously has had a lot of love it's all broken but uh, it does come with a couple little applicators. I very rarely use those because I have a specific brush that I will be talking about that I use with it. Um, I don't really, I did try the wax part, but I hardly have any eyebrows, eyebrow hairs at all. So like if you have some like wily, like eyebrow hairs that are trying to do their own thing, yeah, the wax would work for you. But for me, I just, they just weigh it down so much that I really don't use that. I just pretty much use these, you know, two colors and use the lighter color like on my part where I do actually have a few hairs and then use the darker one kind of out here where I'm really, you know, lacking some, some hairs. But I like the powder. Um, to me, it's easier to work with than a pencil just because for me, the pencils are too heavy, too waxy, too cakey. Um, so yeah, if you have very fine, you know, thin brows, a powder, you know, might be the way to go for you. Um, this summer I had decided to try out blonde. So I was a very light blonde, so I had to change my eyebrow powder and I went with the uh, Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in blonde, which I really like this brow powder. It's another one of these, you know, dual similar. And you see how light they are. And then I would just use the lighter one on this inside part here where I have a little more hair and then the darker one just to finish out. And it, I liked this a lot. I would recommend, you know, this Anastasia products for brows to anyone because I think they're great. If they've got your shade, this is good. Tools. Um, this is actually what I use. This is the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. I don't know if you can see how little that is, but I, this is what I use for my brow powder. So for me, because they are so small and thin, this really works great. So that's what I use it for. My next one is, actually this is from my, uh, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, the little brush that comes with that. Uh, this to me is the perfect eyeshadow brush. I love it. And uh, I'm not necessarily a fan of double headed brushes, but I love this one. Um, I use this to, you know, of course, just pack on my shadow and it's, you know, small-ish, but I have a small lid. So that actually is very good for, you know, getting in my shadow precisely, you know, where I want it. And then um, this little end here, it's, uh, you know, your blender brush, but it's, it's a little bit stiff, like this section of it's a little stiff, but it is very soft on the tip. So it just, I don't know, it's so easy to work with, to blend your shadow with this. I, I just love it. I love this brush. The Beauty Blender. Of course, I, I know lots of people talk about this. It really is worth the money. And then my next one is my, my Q-tips, Precision Tips. Um, I really like these for like, I'll maybe use them to like clean up, you know, around my cuticles or if I make a mistake around my eye, you know, like with liquid liner. I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm not, I like using it. I like the way it looks, but I make some little goof ups, you know, and so you want to be able to just fix your goof and not have to redo your whole eye. So this to me, you know, is really good for getting in there and kind of being precise and, and cleaning up those little boo-boos but yeah these are great i hope you enjoyed the video um i think i'm really going to enjoy making them uh i think i'm going to start out with maybe like monthly favorites maybe do empties you know once i gather up enough empties um and then i like to do maybe i'll do like some hauls i hope that you guys will you know tell me your favorite products i'm really just interested in getting that dialogue started and having fun i hope you have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye